all been there before, opening up a brand spanking new project in LumaFusion, ready to start editing, and then it dawns on us. We have so much footage, we just don't know where to start. That's where the technique of shooting to edit comes in, a method you can use during the filming of your content to make your post-production process more efficient and less stressful. It essentially means that we're thinking about how we're going to edit our footage while we're physically shooting our story. It means we shoot mindfully to only capture quality videos we're actually going to need in post-production. So how exactly do we do it? Well, there are a few elements we need to think about when it comes to shooting to edit, all of which will come naturally to you the more you practice with them. Number one, plan what you'll shoot ahead of time. Now, unless you're filming a breaking news story or a spontaneous event, you'll most likely have a bit of time before you film to jot down a few ideas of what you want to capture. Think about the unique locations you want to shoot in, the interesting characters you want to interview, and generally the look and tone of your video. This doesn't have to be storyboarded or a complete shot list by any means, but by having a rough outline of the highlights of your piece, you'll be sure to remember which scenes, interviews, B-roll, and locations you'll need to capture on film to make up your eye-catching story. With that being said, you'll often get new ideas when you're actually filming. So although having a sense of direction in mind is important, please don't limit your creativity by sticking too rigidly to your script or schedule if the inspiration takes you. Number two, shoot with continuity in mind. Whether you're producing a film, news report or promotional video, your content will no doubt require an element of continuity to some extent, whether that's a simple five-shot sequence, a snazzy in-camera transition, or a complex scene with actors performing the same lines over and over again. It's important to consider in pre-production how your story will flow for a coherent and dynamic piece in the edit with a beginning, middle, and end. Number three, prepare your scenes before you record. To prevent shooting unusable footage, always make sure your scene is well lit, focused and framed correctly before you press record. Watching badly shot content in the edit in LumaFusion will waste precious time and can get frustrating really, really quickly. Remember, if you're doing interviews, audio also plays a big role in preparing the scene. So make sure you've mic'd up your participants correctly and hidden any unsightly wires. Number four, film with purpose. Now, of course, it's important to give ourselves a choice of creative shots in the edit. In fact, I would highly recommend getting a close, medium and wide angle of all of your scenes to give you more choice when you're editing your clips together. Having said that, often it's easy to get over enthusiastic and shoot way more material than we actually need, leaving us feeling overwhelmed when it comes to making a decision on the timeline. Sifting through too much material of the same flat scene, all shot from the same angle, can get boring fast. So think about how much footage you're actually going to need and only shoot what's necessary to construct your story and the content you're going to create. Number five, mark your best takes. If you've shot a perfect piece to camera or something magnificent happens on screen, mark it with an action like a thumbs up or lens cover to tell your future self that's the best take. That way, when you're skimming through multiple shots in LumaFusion, you can find the sections you want faster without watching numerous versions of the same thing. If you like, you can log your scenes as you go and keep a note of all the action as you shoot it that you can reference back to in the edit. So remember, filming your footage with the edit in mind can save you hours of editing time and a lot of stress and can help you avoid that dreaded feeling where you think, oh, I just wish I could go back, start from scratch and film it all over again. I'm sure you guys have got some tips and tricks of your own when it comes to shooting for the edit, so please share them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. That's it from me, guys. I'll see you right here next week on the LumaTouch YouTube page.